So far we've created the application using the Visual Builder wizards to automate everything. Let's talk a little bit about how the actual functionality works. If I select the table component, I can see that there is an event. This event captures the selected row and populates a parameter called employee ID, which takes the key value of that selected row. It also has an action chain for that event, and in that action chain, a variable is assigned. So the Visual Builder has created a variable called selected ID and assigned it with that parameter, the employee ID. Now let's look at the edit button. The enabling or disabling of that button is provided by the page variable, selected ID. So this page variable could be used anywhere within that page. The button also has an event on it, an OJ action event. If I look at the action chain, controls moving to the employee edit page and of course, the parameter into that edit page is the employee ID from the chain. So currently, we select the row, we enable the button, and we navigate. So let's amend the logic so that selecting the row also navigates. Let's go back into the action chain or the table and let's add a navigate action. And we want to move to the edit employee. And of course we need a parameter. So here is that variable from the action chain and let's map that to the employee ID for the edit page. Okay, that also means that we can delete the button. Let's run this completely. We'll run the app. Select one of the rows. And now we can edit. And let's also approve Sanjay. So we've seen how to edit. How about creating a new page in our flow? To do that, we go back to our flows. Here's the flow we're working on, the main flow. We have the start, create, and edit page. Let's create a new page. We'll call that statistics. And here we'll start to build up information about our employees. So we'll start with just a quick heading. And let's use one of our visualization components. Maybe just for now, a simple bar chart. Again, we have a quick start. So I'll use that to add some data from the departments table. And in my bar chart, I'll take the count of total employees as my Y value and the name of the department. And already we can see we're building up sales and marketing, nobody in IT yet. Uh, the default has come in, so we've got less than whole numbers of people. So maybe we'll just amend that. Okay. Let's just call this employees. Let's also take a look at some of the other attributes. Here on the y axis, let's set the minimum step to one to get. Perfect. Go back to the 
front tab and I like horizontal layout. Great, okay. Let's go into Jane. Set her department to IT. Save that. We look back at our stats page. Reload the data. Now we have one employee. Finally, what we need to do is to be able to access that. So we need another button. And as we did before, call this stats. We'll go into the events and we'll create an event on this button, the action event. We'll add a navigate action. And we will navigate to the stats page. Perfect. And let's just run that, make sure our button's working. That completes this lesson. In the next lesson, let's see about how we can actually go about publishing this application.